Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Thank you for visiting today, October 1st, 2024. Today we're going to make some more circle projects, what to do with the circle punch. And hopefully my punches hold out for this series because if there's one thing I probably got my money out of, it's my circle punch. But first, the usual um, new products and thank yous and appreciation and thoughts. Thank you to Debbie, Deborah, Glenda, Michelle, Beth, Julie, Catherine, Janita, Penny, Evelyn, Marilyn, Fran, Elaine, Teresa, Deborah, Leslie, Amanda, Lucretia, and Karen. And uh, again, Teresa and Elaine, thank you for the very kind reviews um, regarding your products and the time you took to do that. I appreciate it very much. And remember this week there is a free just for you. <clears throat> I can't remember. I think there's three or four free things. Some discontinued products that I really don't want to see go to waste because um, it's really hard for me to afford much more than a hundred products on Etsy and I like to switch things up. I, um, yeah, out with the old and with the new. And um, to the southern states, North Carolina, Florida, Kentucky, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee, and anyone else who, who has been impacted by Helene, the images have been horrific. I can't even imagine. And as soon as there are some legitimate avenues to help, I will do what I can. It's just horrifying. And the road you have ahead to recovery is unimaginable. I don't think the country has ever seen anything like this. So everyone continue to keep them in your thoughts and prayers. It's just unbelievable, the devastation. So, um, and another one, um, I don't know if I'm going to mention this or not. We'll see. Maybe Within the video, I might go over it, maybe not. But new products, Whimsical Autumn, and uh, I already sold one, and I think three or four people have it in their basket already, which I don't blame them because the colors are gorgeous. So there's that, and if you see this, I would shrink this down to 50% and make some buttons with this. They would be gorgeous. Or tags. Or I did this one in JPEG only because I thought it would make a nice print. If it's something you want to frame. And there's a series. So maybe you want to do three or four of them. Okay. Circle projects. Okay. This began with these, something I wanted to do. This one doesn't belong in there. This one I wanted to do for a long time. I'm sorry, I cannot remember who it was. I tried to find it, but it must have been over two years ago. I couldn't find it in my history. I'm not even sure if she made them the same way. I just remembered these very, very graphic buttons. And uh, let me get a few up here to show you. 
close up. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. So I've been tackling my waste here, my scraps. And I use scraps. You don't have to. And then it led to these. And I cleaned out my little scrap box here in five minutes. <laughs> Why I didn't think of these before, I don't know. But it led to those. And then that led to... I wonder if I can make something like this with paper. So I did. And then that led to these little flowers. And that's what we're going to be doing this week. I don't know if we'll be doing these because I would have to get some more scrap fabric. But if you like them and you want to learn how to make those, we can do that too. Just let me know in the comments. And then we'll be doing the buttons today. And then probably Thursday we'll be doing the flowers. So, okay. What I did. Look at all these. What I did. These little scraps, cardstock, you don't have to do them like this. Where you get your paper is up to you. And I just took a folder, embossing folder, and I didn't care what color, I didn't care what um, shape whatever I just stacked them in there as best I could like so and then embossed them and I used the deboss side to make my um, buttons so you will need some packaging, some scraps, I have a couple here done, some ink, some glue, circle punches, and I just used my two, my one and a quarter, or one and a half and one inch because they're more sturdy and I think my five eighths punch is about to bite the dust. So I'm just going to uh, emboss a few more here for you to get through that. Show you how I glued a glued a few and then we're just going to finish these ones up on camera just for time's sake I mean it's pretty self-explanatory so I just lined up as many pieces as it as I could. Let me make sure I'll fit a button on there. On a folder. I'm going to run over there and emboss this real quick. And this folder I chose because it gives me lots of di different button options, no matter how I punch it.
Okay, so there we have it. I chose that folder because it has a variety. It's one of my favorites. So there's my embossed. And I'm using the opposite side. There's the embossed side. And I'm using the debossed side. Okay, so we have that. And by the way, you can also, um, all these little scrap emboss that you have or that you save, project bales, whatever, you can use those too, which I have a bunch of those in my recycle. And then I just began to start with my largest punch. Like I said, I didn't didn't care what colors. Eventually, I'll probably use one of those colors in something. And then I just cut as many circles as I could out of a piece. And then these were going into my paper making stash, which I did not have time to do all summer, was make paper or dye paper. So I guess if I want color paper, I'll be uh, doing it here at my table or upstairs in the kitchen if I want dyed paper, coffee or tea dyed. So there we go. This is completely full. Let me see if I can get Yes, I can. So I just got a range of embossing folders and made all different types. And I'm happy to say, out of these little teeny tiny scraps, this is the last small bunch and then that will be much more manageable and I'll have to figure out something to do with that and then these just got some packaging Cut out a bunch. Punched out a bunch. <laughs> and then <clears throat> usually I could go on this side and go in between those circles and get the smaller one. So that's how I did that. So As you can see, they go pretty fast. Let me put these away before we can, uh, so we can have some room here. And I love, love, love these. Oh, and then your ink. I use these. And since I want some red and different colors today, I'm going to use these. little Stampin' Up squares. So that's what I'm going to do today. <clears throat> and it works a lot better with those little little dye, little ink pads 
than it does with the larger ones. And if if you have <clears throat> larger um, larger pieces, you can uh, you can use those and do the whole sheet at once and then punch afterward if you desire. But I'm really sorry I couldn't find that person. Uh, all I remember is they were very graphic and I never forgot them. So I really wanted to do them again. So hopefully I have. Get my ones I just cut out here as opposed to my ones that are already glued. That's ready, that's ready, that's ready, that's ready. Okay. So let's do the gluing part so I can show you that although that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can use your cheap glue for this. Make sure I get my right sides because once you start it's easy to forget. And if you just put you're going to get gloopy, so be prepared. If you just put a very thin coat, there's no warping or anything, so you don't even have to worry about putting anything under a book. And then I made another little template. A button template. And I keep that with my buttons. Now you can make that. I forgot to get a button. If you have a large button, you can use that to make your template. Which I do have a large button. Forgot to grab it. Or you can just line up your dots with a ruler on a grid. However you want. And as you can see they went pretty fast. So I'm just going to do a couple of these little ones here and then I'll finish them off off camera and I'll probably finish that little scrap pile today, hopefully. And then it will be having a whole bunch of new embellishments that I already know I use quite often, which is buttons. Use them for all kinds of things. And then you can make a few blanks for the flowers, or you can use the buttons shapes for the flowers if you desire. So, okay, that's pretty much how you do that self-explanatory. Get my hands clean. Set those off to dry a minute because I know these ones are all ready to go. Okay, so I made these little templates. Let me get a white piece of paper here. That's better. And when I got a perfect one, I put a P on it. So that way I know <laughs> to 
just keep doing it until you get one you like. And then I took my finished ones, my dry ones, let them dry a little bit. And then it was just a matter of uh, taking my marker here. Oh, and you'll need a small punch. I'm using my 1 8 paper punch. And then I just put my little dots. And then I pretty much did everything like an assembly line. Emboss first, punch, put my circles, and then inked. Okay. Then I started playing around again yesterday. Oh, I wonder if I can do this. And sure enough, I came up with a few more. <clears throat> which will probably go in a trash to treasure. And then I'll have a gazillion different types of buttons. But as I said, I use, I can use these for closures. I can pop them on a card embellish with them, make a nice little pocket, put them on a pocket, all kinds of things you can do with these. Put them as the center for my flowers. And then I have another, another one what you can do with those okay so there's step one two three and then I just took my punch didn't need a didn't need my crocodile for this it's pretty I mean, I just used standard packaging. So, uh, I think even my elastic bookmarks were thicker than this. I mean, they're sturdy but they're not going to like ruin your punch. So you don't need the strength of a crocodile. That's what I'm trying to say. Standard punch will do. And if you want to put a clear coat over these, hers might have been, she might have did that. Put a clear coat like uh, my triple thick. Maybe that's why I couldn't find it. Because I really wanted to find it, because I always like to share my inspiration, but it must have been over two years ago, and I couldn't even find it in the history. And then I did search through Pinterest to see if maybe I was mistaken. I didn't see it on YouTube. 
I saw it on Pinterest. Couldn't find it there either. But they must have been beautiful if I remembered them for two years. So my apologies, although, okay, many people do buttons. <laughs> but I do like to give credit when I get inspired by someone. You'd be surprised how many people don't. Okay. That one's ready to go. Those need glued. Let me get these, as many of these little dots out of here as I can. They're all over the place. They're all over my table, hiding. I bet there's a million under this glass mat. Okay, so now the reveal. So I'll show you with um, I'll show you with the ones I used first, just so you can see the colors. Um. go with Victorian velvet and then I just wiped over and I didn't even care if it was perfect I'm missing a spot right there and I don't know why it's like there's a resist So this one's definitely not going to be perfect unless I grab the wrong. I have two of these boxes of colors and one is older than the other. So there we go. That's a new, a new design. So as I said, I want some different colors and I definitely want some red. So I'm going to move on to stamping up. I can't remember if I used ruby red or real red. I like that one. Let me try a regal rose. Probably look pretty. It doesn't even matter if you get your box. You know how you get an edge and you don't want an edge. <laughs> Just keep going over it and it will disappear. There's that. Okay. We'll try Ruby. I think I might get up because I don't mind some dark blue either. Oh, that's pretty. So I didn't even care if they were very distressed looking. Let's try real red. OK. 
Okay. Um, let's get, let's try one of these ones and see what kind of, different effect. I want to show you that. There it is on craft paper. So you get all different kinds of things happening. I don't know what color I'm going to make that pink. This is Perfect Plum. There's that one. And while I have these light ones, I don't know what color I'm going to put on that pink. I have to think about that a minute. I'm going to get a blue here. And I realize what I'm going to put on that pink. Probably gray. So I wanted some some more blue in a darker blue, not turquoise, which I think that one was broken China, Tim Holtz. I hope I'm in. I hope I'm in. I hope you're seeing that. <laughs> Uh, let's go this one. Oh, I didn't poke my, I didn't do my holes in that. So I'll have to do that after. Okay. Uh, probably better do that in a something different. Let's try this pretty in pink. See that one was already half done because that was a card fail. Okay, then I'm going to do this in gray. Let's see what happens. Just to tone that down a little bit. That was fluorescent paper. I might have even poked my holes after I inked, now that I think about it. You can do them all in black if you're using colored paper. I'm going to do that in brown. So I like brown and pink together. There we go. That was pretty. So how many did I forget to punch? Quite a few actually. Where are we? We're at 35, so I'll probably do those off camera for your sake because this is pretty self explanatory and not much. Not much required for making buttons, but they are so pretty, and I love all of them. I'm glad I 
have some different colors today. For the remaining ones, you know, I one color I don't have is green. So I'll probably do that last batch in some greens, different greens. And then I'll have a whole bunch. Put a few of these older ones on here. Bring this up for you to see. That's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. Just to show you that it doesn't. There's gray cardstock, that's a pretty one. There's brown cardstock, and I went over it with darker brown. That's a pretty one. So there we go. Just look at that color. Look how pretty they are. I love them. Absolutely love them. Okay, everyone going to wrap it up and we'll see you on Thursday and we'll make these little shabby scrap flowers with using the same designs for our center one of our centers okay thanks again I'll see you next time bye